Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. I used to make quite a few videos covering the backstory of various Sims characters, and it's been a little while since I did one of those, so I figured we should probably revisit some old characters and tell their story in the form of a video. And today we are talking about the dust-busting bombshell that is Kaelin Langerak, i.e. the maid NPC from The Sims 2 and 3. So let's begin. Kaylin makes her first appearance as the maid in The Sims 2, and she's at the centre of a lot of local drama. But before we get into that, let's take a look at her childhood. The Sims 3 was released after The Sims 2, obviously, but The Sims 3 was set 50 years before The Sims 2, so in order to follow Kaylin's story chronologically, we'll have to start here. Kaylin appears as a child in the neighbourhood of Sunset Valley, and she lives with her parents, Dustin and Liana, her older brother Parker, and her aunt Zelda. She wears mainly simple black and white clothing, except for bedtime, and if her clothing choices weren't indication of her future career enough, she also has the personality of a future maid. Her bio reads, Unlike her father, brother and aunt, Kaylin tries to keep a spotless house. She enjoys painting when she gets a break from cleaning up after everyone. Her traits are neat and perfectionist. Although child sims usually have three traits, but for some reason Kaylin only has two. I'm not sure if there's a reason for this, but I think it would be safe to assume that this is just an oversight from the Sims team. As well as cleaning up after everyone in her family, Kaylin is also a pretty good student. She's at a school B grade when you start playing in her household. She's very artistic as well as her bio suggests. She already has a level 4 in painting. Even though her dad, brother and aunt aren't into keeping a pristine home, Kaylin seems to take after her mother, Liana, who was also neat and a perfectionist. Her mum works as a department head in the business career, which makes sense because one of her other traits is workaholic and her lifetime aspiration is to become the CEO of a mega corporation. Kaylin's dad, Dustin, is unemployed and his traits are slob, clumsy, family-oriented, friendly and handy. He is only unemployed because he's a stay-at-home dad though. He has quite strict rules for the kids, except for when it comes to cleaning. Interestingly, Kaylin's older brother Parker has a lot in common with Sims 2 Kaylin. He's flirty, he's a great kisser, and one of his favourite things to do is chat up the most attractive girls in town. So it seems when it comes to romantic behaviour, Kaylin learns a thing or two from her brother, which perhaps explains her Sims 2 journey a bit more. Handling the matter of seduction is probably the only thing she learns from her brother though, as they are completely different in every other way. Parker takes after his dad in terms of his sloppiness, and he's also a messy slob. And then we have Zelda, Kaylin's maternal aunt. Zelda is much younger than her sister Liana. She's only a young adult at this point. She seems like a free spirit, she loves plants, indie music, and dreams of being a rock star. She has dyed blonde hair and is a party animal. She's more immature than her sister and even has the childish trait, and she works in the music career as a fan. There is another Langerak whose relation to Kaylin is uncertain. In the world of Luna Lakes, there's a sim called Arthur Langerak. So one thing that makes The Sims 3 different is that only Sunset Valley is 50 years ahead of The Sims 2. Every other world has its own timeline, so we don't know if Arthur and Kaylin would have lived at the same time. However, I do think it's very unlikely because Bella Goth's grave is in Luna Lake, suggesting that this world is pretty far into the future. So my guess is that Kaylin was probably long gone by the time Arthur was born, but who knows? His surname and looks confirm to me that Arthur is related to Kaylin somewhere along her dad's side. And that's pretty much everything I have to say about The Sims 3. Let's move on to The Sims 2, where things get a little bit more juicy. I've referenced a lot about the timeline in this video, and at this point, I'll have to reference it again because Kaylin's age in The Sims 2 
really doesn't make sense. She was a child in The Sims 3, so at this point, she should at least be an elder. I mean, Mortimer Goth was a child when she was, and he's an elder, yet Kaylin's age is more in line with Mortimer's daughter, Cassandra. There is no official explanation for this. Kaylin doesn't have a family tree in this game, so it's possible that this version of Kaylin is different from The Sims 3 version, but I really think it's just an oversight. Maybe she got her hands on the elixir of youth and stayed young. She also must have had eye surgery because her eyes have gone from brown to green. But anyway, she's an adult now. The Sims 2 only introduced the young adult life stage with Discover University, and once a Sim completes college, they would age up into an adult. I say this because in The Sims 3 and Sims 4, the young adult life stage seems to cover more years than it does in The Sims 2. So even though Kaylin is an adult, I think she's meant to be somewhere between her mid-twenties to early thirties. Kaylin is one of three maids in this game. There's her, Remington Harris, and Lucy Hamby. As I touched on earlier, there's no family tree for Kaylin in this game, but even if there was, it's likely that all of her family members from The Sims 3 would now be deceased. She has the family aspiration, which seems a bit strange, because whilst she does have romantic relationships, she doesn't seem to go for available men. When you look at Kaylin's relationship panel, you can see that she starts off with two active relationships, Don Lothario and Daniel Pleasant. The men don't know about each other, but to be honest, that's neither here nor there when you look at the bigger picture. So let's start with Don. Don Lothario is the town's local heartthrob, and he's engaged to Cassandra Goth. However, he is cheating on her with both Caliente sisters and Kaylin Langerak. Despite being one of four lovers, Kaylin does have the better relationship with Don, and they both seem equally adventurous in terms of woohoo. Don has a memory of having public woohoo together, so even though he's engaged, Don does seem to like Kaylin the most. This is a train wreck waiting to happen though. Don's house is like a revolving door, so it'll only be a matter of time before someone catches him with someone else. I mean, he's shagging half the town. Then we have Kaylin's other relationship, Daniel Pleasant. So Kaylin actually works for the Pleasant family as their maid. I say family because Daniel is actually married. He's been with his wife Mary Sue for years, and the pair have teenage twin daughters. Daniel started an affair with Kaylin after being rejected for woohoo by Mary Sue, who seems to be more focused on her career than her marriage. When Mary Sue goes to work, Daniel is already thinking about getting steamy with Kaylin. The fact that she goes over there every day probably means that Daniel is cheating on Mary Sue on a daily basis. The storyline is laid out so that if you play as the Pleasant family, Mary Sue will catch the pair together after leaving work early. Whether Daniel continues his affair with Kaylin or rebuilds his relationship with his wife is up to you as the player. Sadly, Kaylin isn't a playable character in this game, not unless you use cheats anyway, and even if you did add her to your family, her personality would be completely randomised. You can see her memories of having woohoo with Don and Daniel though. For an NPC sim, she sure does add a lot of spice to The Sims 2 storyline, and even though she could be seen as somewhat of a villain in this game, her aspirations suggest that all she wants is to find love and start a family of her own. If all she wanted to do was wreck families and break hearts, then she would have had the romantic aspiration instead. So I'd like to think that at some point in the future, she finds true love and manages to fulfil her family aspiration. The Sims 3 is currently the last game to feature Kaylin. As of yet, she hasn't made an appearance in The Sims 4, and honestly, I don't see her making a comeback. So we may well never find out how the story ends for her. And that is the story so far of Kaylin Langerak. Who else do you want to see a story on? I'd love to know in the comments. But for now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.